you really be in this town? Restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. three years ago. So then why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Could Mary really be here? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? she made. This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us staring at the water. 
Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Excuse me. <gasps> I'm sorry. I, I was just... Hey, it's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... I think you should stay away. This, uh... This town, there's something... wrong with it? And it's not just the fog, either. Is it dangerous? Maybe. It's kind of hard to explain, but... I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going either way. But why? I'm looking for... Someone. Someone very important to me. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I mean, my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry, it's not your problem. No, I, uh, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I... I no, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This, uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying! No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for... someone. Who... who... who is it? Someone very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but I can't find them either. I'm sorry. 
it's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Oh, yeah. This thing broken? What the? I'd better take it anyway. I might need it. Just the two of us staring at the water. Wait! 
Ow! Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, wait! Damn it. Who's there? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, I swear. Hey, are you okay? I didn't do anything. He was like that when I got here. He? Oh, you mean the man back there? In the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill him. Yeah, it's all right. I'm, I'm not saying that you did. Look, my name is James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie, okay. So, uh, do you live here, Eddie? No. I'm not even from this town. It's just... Something brought you here. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. I... Well, they came at me. I didn't know what to do, so I ran. I came here. Figured it might be safe, but, but then I found the guy in the fridge. Easy, deal. deep breaths. <sighs> This place, it, it's not safe. These things, this whole town, there's something wrong with it. it. Might be best if you just get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, you want to come with? Maybe together we can find a way out of this town. Oh, sorry, but I can't leave. Not yet. I. I need to find someone. Oh. Eddie, be careful. Yeah, you too. when I got here. <coughs> my, uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. You're not friends with that red <coughs> pyramid thing, Red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me, so I ran in here. Well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you, I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just, I just... You too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Eddie? 
Be careful. James, I... I, um... You be careful, too.
Oh. It's you. Yeah. I'm James. Angela. Angela. Okay. Look, I'm not sure what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? What's the point? It's easier just to run. Maybe it's all we deserve. We? Me. You. We're all the same. I'm not like you. Are you afraid? Sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? No. Not yet. Did she live here? In this building? I don't know. So all you know is that she lived in this town? What did you say? How did you know that? I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Sorry. Did you find the person that you were looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I don't know why I think she's here. She... died three years ago. She's dead? Oh, don't worry, I'm not crazy. At least I don't think so. I have to find my mama. Uh, should I go with you? This town really is dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. No, it's okay. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What, what about that? I... Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. you yeah I'm James <sighs> Angela Angela okay I don't know what you're planning but there's always another way really but 
but you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I. I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, cause this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. At least, I don't think so. Uh, I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, i just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. It was you, wasn't it? 
You're the one who stepped on my hand. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? I don't know. What's a big dum-dum like you doing here anyway? Hey, that's not very nice. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? What you got there? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? Hey, wait! How do you know her name? You! It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here, anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? like your girlfriend. No, my late wife. I can't believe it. Your face, your voice, you could be... My name is Maria. I don't look like a ghost, do I? <laughs> See? Warm. Sorry, I got confused. Hey, where are you going? I need to find Mary. Didn't you say she died? Oh. Yeah. Three years ago. It's, it's just... I got a letter from her. A letter? I know how it sounds. I'm, I'm not... I don't... Hey. It's okay. So, what did the letter say? She said she was waiting for me in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? I, uh... I don't know anymore. Something. I just, I can't quite. Hey! I think I might know. I mean, there's this one place. Not far from here. What kind of place? The kind two lovers might call special. I can show you if you want. Unless you have somewhere else to be. Something else to do. <laughs> Easy there. I'm just messing with you. Come on. It's this way. You're coming with me? Can't you just tell me where it is? <laughs> You're just gonna leave me here? Alone? With all these monsters around? No, I, I just... Is it because... I remind you of... her? You loved her, didn't you? Didn't you? Alright, just... Come on. 
so it's okay. Yeah. Mary? No, you're not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. I don't look like a, uh, ghost, do I? See? Feel how warm I am? You're really not Mary. I told you. I'm Maria. Sorry. I was confused. Where are you going? I'm looking for Mary. Have you seen her? Didn't you say she died? Oh yeah, three years ago. But I got a letter from her. She says she was waiting in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? Hotel, too, I guess. The one on the lake? I wonder if it's still there. The Lakeview Hotel? Yeah, it's still there. So, the hotel was your special place, huh? I'll bet it was. Don't get so mad. I was just joking. Anyway, it's not that way. It's this way. You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. I look like... Mary, don't I? You loved her, right? Huh. Or maybe... You hated her. Don't be ridiculous. So it's okay? Yeah, fine. Strange. This should not be here. Well, it is. So, what now? Now we look for another way. I'll wait here. I hate bowling. I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back, okay?
she went through there. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. Right through there. It's no good. It's locked. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, don't give me that look. I was just kidding. What is this? Is this a special place you met? Don't be silly. Just have to go through and out the front. Then again. Now that we're here, can't we stay just for a little while, catch our breath before we head back out there? I don't have time to take a break. Mary could be out there, waiting for me. I know. It's just, this place, this whole thing. It's like a nightmare. I just wanted to get away from it, even for a second. I'm sorry. I... No, it's it's fine. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to. I guess this place is getting to me, too. Am I crazy? You know, for thinking she could be here. Crazy is one word for it, I guess. I can think of another. What's that? Hopeful. It's a nicer way of putting it. Here. What are you doing? Something to take the edge off. <laughs> no? You sure? Be that way. Here's to... to hope I'm dying. Ready when you are.
That's it? A garden? There's a bit more to it than that. If you say so. I don't think I've been here before. Come on. She's just around the corner. She? story told around these parts, kind of a local legend, it tells of a woman who was cast out, sentenced to die on an island out on the lake. There was a man in town who fell madly in love with her, <laughs> and every night he would sneak out, row across the lake, bringing her food and company <laughs> and every night she would stand there on the shore holding a lit candle to help him find his way but this one night a terrible storm broke out caught him out in the open and it blew out the candle even in darkness the man would not give up he would not turn back so he fought against the raging waters until finally the lake took him. They say even then, the woman never lost hope. She kept coming out at night, kept lighting the candle to bring her beloved home, to lead him to shore. <laughs> Not sure how much truth there is to it. It's probably just a fairy tale. But she's become something of a local saint, a patron of undying love. Hence this place. She's not here. What? She's not here. And why would she be? I don't even remember this place. Okay. There's plenty of other places to look. We can still... Come on. apartment building. Yeah, I remember. I see that you didn't make it out yet. Mm, yeah. I just didn't get around to it yet. Well, at least you got your appetite back. Are you alone here, Eddie? Um... No. Well... That's probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. I'm gonna go look for her. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? Never mind.
Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Maria? Did you see the little girl? Yeah, I tried to stop her, but she went that way. We can still catch her. So what'd you do? Robbery? Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Huh, you're just a gutless fatso. What'd you have to say that for? I thought you said the cops were out for you. No, I just ran because I was scared. I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? I guess I run away a lot, too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Did you find the lady you're looking for? What's her name? Mary? Eddie? Oh, um, you're... James. We met in the apartment building. Yeah, I remember, but... Are you alone here, Eddie? Uh, no. Bye-bye! Wait! Come back! Eddie, let's go after her. Huh? Laura, but why? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. This town is full of monsters. Mm. How can you sit there and eat pizza? She said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. <sighs> Did a little girl run out of here? Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you going to go after her? James, look. Over there! Hey, you okay? I'm sorry. That's fine. What's going on? Are you hurt? It's nothing. Probably just a hangover. Maybe you should rest. Yeah. Okay. Go 
I'll look for Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. James? I wanted to ask you. What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? I haven't really thought about that. Get back soon, okay? James. <coughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> I'm kind of tired. <laughs> it's just a hangover. You should rest. Mm. <coughs> so comfy. I'm going to go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. Ow! What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Are you okay? Yeah.
How do you know my name? Eddie told me. That big, fat blabbermouth. Laura, why do you keep running away from me? And how do you know about Mary? I just do. What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You can yell at me if I don't? No. I won't, please, just... I need to know. Mary's my friend. We met at the hospital last year. Stop lying! Laura, I, I'm sorry. I... Fine! Don't believe me! See if I care! Hey! Let go! I'm sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just stay with me, okay? This is no place for a kid. Fine. But there's something I've got to get. Laura. It's important. What is it? A letter. For Mary. What? I hid it. In there. This is where you left it? It's in the back. Behind an old pipe. Okay, w wait here. Laura? Haha! <laughs> open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Do ya? Laura, open this door right now. It's the magic word. Laura! Nope, that's not it. I guess I won't open it. Get out of here, you brat! In your dreams, fart face. Please open the door. There's something in here. Sure there is. A big lying fart face. See a fart face! Laura! Laura! <laughs> James. Laura? Huh? You know my name? Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. 
how do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. I was friends with Mary. We met at the hospital. It was last year. You liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. But last year, Mary was already... I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. We can talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, wait! There's something I gotta get! Later, okay? But it's really important! What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I wanna go get it, is that okay? Yes, yes! Is it in there? Yeah, in the back. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. Laura! What are you doing? Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Okay. I guess I won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat! Open up! You... You... Laura? You cut me! So what about Laura? You found her? Yeah, but she ran away. What? Well, we have to find her. Yeah, you, uh... You really seem to care about that girl. Do you know her? I... I'd never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone and... I don't know. 
And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. James! Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were... Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. <laughs> so, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Having trouble there? Yeah. You think you could give me a hand? Me? You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? <laughs> oh, fine. cute, is it? Here, why don't you take it? Thanks. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Not very cute, is it? Here, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. What's wrong? I thought you wanted to get out of here. I know. It's just... Something doesn't feel right. Come on. It's gonna be fine.
Are you... Are you feeling better? This place is different from what I remember. I guess things never really stay the same, do they? I guess not. I don't... I don't... think she's here anymore, James. Who? My mama. She doesn't... She doesn't want to see me anymore. Why would you think that? Anyway, I'm happy to see you. Happy to see me? Alive, I mean. Oh, yeah. I better get going. You still don't want me to go with you? If we stick together, we might just make it out of here. Out of where? This town, Silent Hill. No, it's fine. Okay. Oh, uh, you didn't happen to see the little girl around here, did you? A little girl? Yeah, I... Angela? Are you all right? Angela? No. Please. You shouldn't be here. Angela, it's okay. No, don't touch me! No big deal. Just put the gun to their head and... Eddie? Oh, uh... Hi, James. What happened here? Who was that? I don't know. It just came at me. So he attacked you, and you shot him. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He made me do it. Okay, calm down, Eddie. Any idea why he would do that? I don't know. He came out of nowhere. He tried sneaking up on me in the dark. I heard footsteps, so I turned back, and he was right there. And you could tell that he wanted to hurt you. Well, yeah, I mean, the way he looked at me, I just had to do it. He looked at you? I thought you said he came at you. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see it in his eyes. His eyes? He kept looking at me, making fun of me. I told him not to, but uh, he didn't listen. Eddie, you can't... You can't just kill someone because the way they looked at you. <laughs> you should see your face, James. I was just joking. That guy was dead when I got here. I got you, didn't I? <laughs> well, anyway, I better get going. Wait. You're gonna go out there alone? Yeah. Killing a person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head, pow. You, you killed him? But, but, but it wasn't my fault. He, he made me do it. Calm down, Eddie. Tell me what happened. That guy, he, he had it coming. I didn't do anything. He just came after me. Besides, he was making fun of me with his eyes, like that other one. Just for that, you killed him? What do you mean, just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now, I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had it coming too. Eddie? <laughs> I was just joking, James. He was dead when I got here, honest. Anyway, I gotta run. You're going out there alone? Yeah. Eddie! Please. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. Angela? <laughs> Angela, it's me. No, please. Okay, Dan. 
Angela. It's okay. Calm down. Don't order me around! I'm not. I just... It's okay. It's over. Don't even try. Try what? Like you don't know? I see what you're doing. It's always the same with you. You're only after one thing. Angela, please. You don't have to lie. Go ahead. Say it. You could just force me. <laughs> like he always did. <laughs> you disgusting pig. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Angela. I don't know who you think I am, but I don't want to hurt you. I just want to get my Mary back. Your Mary? Your own little Mary. At least she was. For a while. What? Admit it. You didn't want her around anymore. No. You probably found someone else. No! find my mama. Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, 
she was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never... I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt? Not at all, silly. But the thing... It stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator and then... James. What are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? James? Honey? Did something happen to you after we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So you are Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. Doesn't matter who I am. I am here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? If you happen to make up your mind. I'll be waiting. I, uh... I'll find some way to... I'll come back, I promise. You're alive! Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and James, then... James, what are you talking about? Just before! Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything, but you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am, if you want me to be.
All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. enough alone, huh? You just had to follow me all the way out here. How many times do I have to kill you? Eddie? Whoa, Eddie. It's, it's me. Oh. Uh. Hi, James. Eddie, what are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing? You fat, disgusting piece of shit, you make me sick. You gonna cry, fat ass? You gonna run to your mama? Waste of skin, why don't you just kill yourself? Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And a corpse can't laugh. Eddie. What's that? You want to talk down to me some more? Tell me to relax? You're just like the rest of them, James. No, I don't want to. Shut up! You think I'm stupid. 
You think I don't see it? But you've been laughing at me all along. Ever since we first met. But you ain't laughing now, are you? Don't get all holy on me, James. This town called you too. You, you and me, we're the same. We're not like other people, don't you know that? Well, you're about to find out. Eddie, what are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. James, when you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. It tried to chew its own guts up finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Get a holy on me, James! This town called you too! You and me are the same! We're not like other people! Don't you know that? Let's party! Eddie? Eddie? I... I killed a... a human being. A human being.
Mary. Did you really die three years ago? Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. I guess I deserved it, huh? The fart face that I am. Maybe. Then again, maybe you're not so bad. Just... annoying. Uh-huh. So... <clears throat> you got any other things planned? I think I saw a dark room back there you could lock me up in. Hmm... No. I think you've had enough. For now. Well, that's reassuring. Besides, I need your help finding Mary. She's here. Isn't she? Come on, tell me. I wish I knew. But... She said it in her letter. Wait. So there really is a letter? Yeah. Want to read it? Just don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She's our nurse. I, uh, took it from her locker. My dearest Laura. I'm leaving this letter with Rachel to give to you after I'm gone. I'm far away now, in a quiet, beautiful place. Please forgive me for not saying goodbye before I left. Be well, Laura. 
Don't be too hard on the sisters. And Laura, about James. I know you hate him because you think he isn't nice to me, but please give him a chance. It's true, he can be a little surly sometimes, and he doesn't laugh much. But underneath, he's a really sweet person. I love you, Laura. I love you like my very own daughter. I wish things were different. I wish we could be happy together, like we talked about. Even so, I know you will have a good life. You're a strong, smart, Beautiful girl. Happy eighth birthday, Laura. Your friend, Mary. Laura. How old are you? Um, I turned eight last week. Does that mean... Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. She also talked a lot about you. You know? She even. What? What is it? Well, there kind of was his other letter. I think the one was for you. The envelope had your name on it. Did you read it? I wanted to. This one time, I almost did. Figured you didn't deserve to have it. But then I thought, Mary wouldn't want me to keep it from you. So I just sort of kept it for you. Here. It's empty. Laura, there's nothing in it. What? But... I didn't take it. I swear. Well, where is it then? I... I must have lost it. I gotta find it. Laura! Did I scare you? Yeah, you did. You're here to find Mary, aren't you, James? Well, have you? No. Is that why you're here, too? She's here, isn't she? If you know where she is, tell me. I'm tired of walking. I wish I knew. But she said it in her letter. What letter? Wanna read it? But don't tell Rachel, okay? Who's Rachel? She was our nurse. I took it from her locker. How old are you? Um... I turned eight last week. So... Mary couldn't have died three years ago. Could... could she really be here? Is this the quiet, beautiful place she was talking about? Me 
and Mary talked a lot about Silent Hill. She even showed me all her pictures. She really wanted to come back. That's why I'm here. Maybe you'll get it if you see the other letter. The one, Mary. Huh? I must have dropped it. Laura. I gotta find it. Laura! Are you taping again? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. <sighs> it's too bad we have to leave. Promise you'll take me again, James. <coughs> <coughs>
liar. That's a lie. No. It's the truth. She... She died because she was sick. I killed her. about her I hate you James I hate you I hate you I hate you she was always waiting for you why why I'm sorry Mary you know is it here Mary? Are you taping again? Come on. <sighs> I don't know why, but I just love it here. It's so peaceful. You know what I heard? This whole area used to be a sacred place. I think I can see why. <sighs> it's too bad we have to leave. Please promise you'll take me again, James. <laughs> Mary? If not, 
let's get going already, okay? Laura. Mary's gone. She's dead. Liar, that's a lie! No, that's not true. She... she died because she was sick? No. I killed her. for you. You're the only one left. Maybe then I can finally rest. Mama. What's wrong? Wait. You're not my mama. It's... It's you. Sorry, Angela. I think you were right. What we're looking for is not here. Not anymore. Thank you for helping me earlier. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserve what happened. No, Angela, that is not true. Don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me? Love me, care for me, 
heal all my pain. That's what I thought. James. Give me back the knife. No, I won't. Saving it for yourself. Have it your way. It doesn't change anything. see it too for me it's always like this Angela, no. Thank you for saving me. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserved what happened. No, Angela, that's wrong. No, don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me. Will you love me? Take care of me? Heal all my pain? That's what I thought. James. Give me back that knife. No. I... I won't. Saving it for yourself? Me? No, I'd never kill myself. It's hot as hell in here. You see it too. For me, it's always like this.
Mary's going to die? You... you must be joking. Must be joking. I'm very sorry. But you're a doctor. It's your job to heal people. How can you just let her die? Please, calm down. As her doctor, I promise I'll do what I can. But there's still no effective treatment for her condition. How long does she have? I'm afraid I'm not sure. Three years at most. Perhaps six months. It's impossible to say with certainty. I know what you are. I know why I needed you. But it's all over now. I don't need you anymore. I was weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Mary? 
I have missed you so much. <laughs> I've missed you too. We can finally be together. Forever. No. James. Honey. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I know you tried. James, please. But she's gone. I know that now. Stop it. And I can't just keep pretending. Shut up! What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. So what if I'm not her? I can give you what she never could. I can be better than her. What else do you want me to be? What else can I be? Hmm? I am so sorry, Maria. I really am. But this has to stop. It's time to let it go. No. What? I won't let you do this to me. I won't let you go. I can't! Mary? <laughs> Wrong again. Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria? Maria, I'm done with you. What do you mean? But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever, and I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. Now I understand. The problem is, you're not married. No, James. I won't let you. I'll never let you have your Mary back. I miss you so much. I tried. I really did, but I can't. I just can't go on without you. I can't forgive myself for what I've done. This isn't what you would want.
I guess it doesn't matter anymore. You... You're not here. Are you? Restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. To come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know, I've done a terrible thing to you. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today. Told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this could be my last chance. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. And that's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know, I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. But that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon, so that you remember me for who I was, and not what the disease made me. I want you to go on. I want you to live for yourself and for others, like you did for me. James. You made me happy.
Mary? James. <coughs> Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. <coughs> no. That's not the whole truth. You also said that you didn't want to die. The truth is, part of me hated you for taking away my life. You killed me. And you're suffering for it. It's enough, James. <coughs> Mary? Uh, James! Now I understand the real reason I came to this town. I wonder, what was I afraid of? Without you, Mary, I've got nothing. Now we can be together. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here, waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, 
I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most, especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy.